Good morning, good afternoon, good day. It depends on where you are. How are you doing? I trust that you are healthy, that you are safe, that you are well. My name is Sophia Elizabeth Lambert. I am a published author of three books titled Hope Deferred, Rise Up, Mentoring Boys to Become Men of Integrity, and A Guide to Effectively Mentor Boys to Become Men of Integrity. I have been doing a series of the said title as a means to pro provide additional resources. So today we are looking at a, another topic and the topic today is so much trouble in the world. I chose this topic because I saw a feel. Um, and I have just been thinking there's so much trouble going on in the world. We have different issues occurring. There's um, health crisis globally. And we have, as we observe the happenings in our world, the one thing that seems to be rising, that's common among us, other than the diseases, is murder, the rise of murder within our nations globally. Um, it, 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 it just seems as if our nations are crying out, murder, murder, murder. It just seems to be the global cry these, cry these days. It is overwhelming to hear the daily reports of another person or several persons who have been murdered. We, I often wonder, who are the perpetrators? Only to find out that the perpetrators are young men, that you know, they are the ones who have been creating the mayhem, the havoc within nations. Our hearts are broken, um, our souls are sore from the pain we feel because of these these crimes and the question haunts me and perhaps it, it, it haunts you as well what did these people do to the perpetrator to be murdered i have come to the conclusion that absolutely nothing absolutely nothing many of them the reports say that they have been going about their business and while doing so, their lives were taken from them. They, there have been reports of babies and adults murdered, and on occasion, an entire family. It matters not, apparently, to the murderers who his or their victims are, um, and how their loved ones and community will be affected by their death. Apparently, his biggest concern is carrying out his heinous crime against humanity without as much as giving us, mankind, the opportunity to find out why these atrocities are being meted out against us and usually by unknown assailants um you know having had those thoughts i um a thought came to mind you know it says you know the, this adage that says it is said evil will prevail when good people do nothing evil seems to be prevailing it is an is it an indication for us to be doing more um you may be wondering but what more can we possibly do may i make a suggestion i think we need to mentor more boys more young men um we need to to increase our mentorship programs with young men we need to, to find those who appear to be isolated. We need to find those who seem to be loners. As well as we need to infiltrate, infiltrate some of the groups as well. Get to know what is um, the dynamics of the group. Get to know what's the commonality among those boys within the group. 
and engage them in conversations because things need to change. We have to be able, we can't continue the way it has been going at all. We can't continue this way. I mean, humanity suffering from various things. How much more the rise of, of crime and violence. Um, so we need to do something about it. We need to change the future history of our young men today. We can make the difference. We can make the change. Because if we don't, it is going to get worse. It will get worse. Um, it's, it, we can't just consider it to be, oh, it happened over there, or it happened to people we don't know. Um, you know, recently I could have said the same thing. Until just this weekend, I received a call saying that I need to contact a nephew of mine just to share a little bit of personal life. First, I need to contact a nephew of mine because his best friend they went to a party and his best friend was murdered at 15, 15 years old. That's his life, just like that. There's no, we can't assume that oh, it's, it's at a distance because even the reports I've heard, um, the news reports of other incidents, nobody thought it would have reached their community. So we need to, we need to do something about it. Um, you know, I am thinking that too often we are all singing the same song that somebody else will do it that's that's a popular song among us we just think that somebody else will mentor the will mentor a boy let somebody else do it we believe that it will be it will be done but the truth is not by us we believe that somebody will do the important thing that everybody should do as many of us as many of us are thinking someone else will do it, guess what? It will not get done until you do it. Yes. As a result, the things that we don't like are negatively impacting our lives because, guess what? We will continue to prevail because somebody else has to do it and somebody else will do it. But that someone is you. You have to become that person who is more than willing to mentor a boy. I'm also aware of the fact that the problem is also a spiritual one. We, we can mentor, but unless there is a change of heart, then in, or we will be effective, but the effect that we need also has to come from a turnaround in the walk with Christ because our moral compass has been broken. So as Christians, we need to have that conversation with young men from a biblical perspective. It can't be from our, only from our experiences, but it also has to come from a biblical perspective. Now, can you imagine if we should have a conversation with one of those young men who are perpetrators of crime and we find out that while he was growing up I mean his life was one of, of pain and filled with hatred um, yes we will, we, we will hear stories of hopelessness and rejection as well because we live in a fallen world we live in a fallen world and they are they have been hurt and hurting people hurt people so we need to stop it we need to put a stop to this by reaching out to someone else you can make the difference you can make the change and it's not we need to find a lot of people a lot of boys are meant to no we just need to find one one day at a time one boy at a time we can't reach everybody all at once but we certainly can 
positively impact one child, one male. Each one reach one, and I am certain that we can do it. Will you do it? Thank you for joining me today, and I pray that you have a great day. And be blessed. Please like and subscribe, and as we say in Jamaica, um, encouragement is sweet and labor. So please, please like it and share it. Thank you. Have a great day.